I got a box. And Michael Artuk Werkzeuge GmbH had nifty looking new old stock on their website I had to check out. Thus, my trusty old hatchet will come to the rescue. But it has seen some use. What do you think about a makeover in trusty old pink? Anyways, let's open this package. First thing out there are these 180mm long side cutters labeled Zaitus, made in West Germany. They are chrome plated and polished nicely with a laser engraved logo on it. They feel very nice and high quality. And you know, I like my red see-through handles. Even though they are new old stock, they have some wear on them, but still, very good old German quality pliers as expected. They feel really great in my hands and I can't see any light poking through the blades. Really nice. Next we got the smaller brother without any labeling on its handles and without any origin. But the same feel and look so I don't have any doubt they are made here. Neat little fella. Same same but shorter. These bent needle nose pliers have a weirdly shaped part for gripping. It resembles more a rectangle than an oval or simple circle. Haven't seen it so far. It says Zangenmöller on its handle, also made in West Germany, but who is Zangenmöller anyways that they managed to get even laser engraved on these pliers? Nonetheless, great pair of pliers. I do love them all so far, but Zaltus? Who is this company that doesn't even have a working website? Strange. Well, I thought they were owned by Atlas Copco, but browsing through their brands, they don't show up. And indeed, Vicky says they've purchased Zaltus in 2013. Founded in 1919 by Max Forster, they were building tools since 1931. And Zaltus was an inventor of torque wrenches with the first click type torque wrench in the world and many inventions more. Sadly, they filed bankruptcy in 2018, as mentioned on the German wiki. One of many, many great tool companies from Messerstadt Solingen, where all the great German knives come from. At least, we still got that picture here. Good old days, huh? Moving on. I got also this outlier from Knipex. It doesn't fit in this video, but I got it anyways as it seemed to be cheap and handy enough to get. But no comparison to these. And I got me another pair of band needle nose pliers. We call telephone pliers by the way here in Germany. Lacking the beautiful red handle is the most obvious difference. Size and band angle seem to be the same, but the jaws differ very much with those teeth, so I had to have both. And what's that? Zangenmöller, West Germany. Again, who is Zangenmöller? Never heard of them. Still, a very nice pair of needle nose pliers. What a great set to own. You know I love me some acetate handles, and acetate handles these are.
I love the feel and comfort they give. Really well shaped. Sadly, a bit opaque with some wear from storing them for a long time. Still in great shape though. And you know what? I got two. Ah, seemingly last bit. And so finally this, the last piece. And it is a 4.5 millimeter spanner with a bit of rust to clean up, sadly. But the handle looks solid and really, really nice. And you know me, I never purchase things simply for the review. I only buy things I really do need. And this one, I have still space from. I know I own a lot of screwdrivers, but they fit right here. And yeah, I know what you're thinking right now. And now to your thought. Yeah, both look very similar, but there's a big difference between these two. This spanner is made in Germany. See? This is very important as these PB Swiss handles will either smell of vanilla or vomit. But German acetate will never smell. And that wraps it up for today.